Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I've got a very special perfume review for you all. And this time I've got the Lord of Misrule perfume oil. And this is something I've been on the hunt on for quite a while now. Oh, my ring light's just gone out. Let me turn that off. I've been having a few issues with it, but that's okay. We've got enough light in here anyway. Um, yeah, this is something I've been searching for for a while. I recently found it. It was originally a part of the Community Favourites 2018-2019 um, product range that they had. It was just a very short limited edition thing that they did with some perfume oils and some limited edition spray perfumes and things like that. So yeah, I was very excited to get this one. It's a very popular scent family at Lush. So there you go. So the scent ingredients of this product are patchouli oil, black pepper oil, and vanilla absolute. So it's the typical scent notes of the Lord of Misrule family. If you're not familiar with Lord of Misrule or what that sort of smells like, the scent notes do pretty much tell the whole story. The vanilla obviously is sort of a very universal note that's used in perfumery. It gives a beautiful sweetness, like a natural kind of sweetness to products. It gives a nice smooth um, base for notes to sort of intermingle together and gives, gives it that sort of togetherness, especially when there's lots of different notes from different scent families, such as citrus scent family, the floral scent family and those sorts of things. It brings things together in a really nice way. Now, the black pepper, as you would imagine, adds that little bit of a spice to things, um, that little bit of a something that just hits the back of your nose. It just gives it that little extra something, you know? And then the patchouli. Well, patchouli is either a love it or hate it kind of thing, I think. Patchouli is sort of what hippies smell like. If you're not sort of familiar with patchouli as a scent note, it's that sort of scent that's very earthy. It's very, um, yeah, it's just very intensely earthy, I would say. Almost a little bit woodsy, just almost, but mainly a very, very intense earthy scent. So, yeah. So basically what you're getting here is a smooth, intense, earthy scent with that nice sweetness there as well and that little bit of a spice as well. It's definitely one of those things that you've got to try for yourself to fully understand what I'm talking about because Lord of Misrule is a little bit of a tricky one to explain. Um, but yeah, it's a really beautiful scent. And it's something that it took a while to grow on me, but I'm glad it has. So my thoughts on this one. Now, Lord of Misrule, I'll be the first to say it. It's definitely not my favorite scent family at Lush. I think a lot of people who love Lord of Misrule are very diehard to Lord of Misrule, like they just love it and nothing else will do. And I can definitely see why people are like that. But for me, it's a nice scent. It's quite intense, like I said. It's not something I would wear every day. Um, it's definitely something I would wear more in the winter time than the summer. I could see a man or a woman using this um, just because there is that nice balance of sweetness and the darker, earthier side of things as well. So yeah, I think men and women enjoy it equally personally. Uh, I did get quite a good longevity out of it. It was well over 12 hours, so I was very impressed with that. Um, yeah, love it. Just love it. Really, really nice scent. And yeah, that's pretty much all you really need to know. Just a great scent, really. Uh, now, I think I'll give it a four and a half out of five. I think that's fair. I'm just going to take that little 0.5 off just because it's not something that I would constantly use every day. Um, but if it did come back for sale, I would definitely repurchase it because the perfume oils are lovely. And it's a shame that Lush doesn't really stock perfume oils anymore. Um, I really wish they would bring them back. It's probably a cost issue, but I mean, I would pay a little bit extra for a perfume oil if need be, because they are really, really nice and I really enjoy them. So there you go. But thank you so much for watching this video. I sincerely appreciate all the support I get here on this channel. Please stay tuned for more Lush reviews like this. But until next time, take care and I hope to see you again. Bye bye.